Picture, if you will, an enigma, a paradox that underpins our struggle and yearning. So often, our hearts echo with the whispers of wishes, passions stirred by the world's lures, and our emotions whim. It is within this paradox that we frequently find ourselves ensnared, tripping over the very same desire that fuels our prayers. Have you ever considered why many appear to wrestle endlessly, seemingly against the currents of life? This struggle arises because we often direct our prayers towards our ambitions, our fleeting emotions, rather than aligning them with the divine plan. Take a moment to consider the example of Jesus himself as he offered the prayer, not my will, but yours be done. A lesson is embedded within these profound words, a treasure map, if you will, to a prayer that resonates with God's heart. The scriptures remind us that our prayers can sometimes miss the mark. That's right. We, in our human frailty, often misdirect our prayers, pleading for our wants, our desires. Yet a transformation awaits us the moment we align our will with that of the Almighty. Imagine if you would, that you present yourself to God as a living sacrifice, entirely surrendering your will. You say, here I am, God, merely a vessel awaiting your divine command. This act of surrender invites the Holy Spirit, which scripture assures us will guide us into all truth. Yet, what are these truths about God's plan for your life? And what are the divine desires God holds for your existence? As humans, we often lean on our own understanding, forgetting the majestic tapestry of God's grand plan. Scripture also teaches that whatever is bound on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. But this necessitates alignment with His divine will. For when you are in harmony with His will, you are assured divine backing. When God decrees, there's no force in the universe capable of thwarting His design, his will manifests in the world regardless. We simply need to align ourselves with it. Those who choose this path of alignment are the ones who find divine backing. Consider the story of David and Goliath. It was God's will that Goliath would fall. Yet he sought a David, a man of faith willing to step up and carry out the divine decree. Many question the personal gains of such actions, always in search of a reward or benefit. Yet isn't it true that sometimes the greatest reward lies in the simple act of serving? Fear, tradition, concern of rejection. All these begin to play their games, muddying the waters of our resolve. Yet what God truly seeks is someone who, regardless of these fears, says, if this is what God wants, let him use me. If this is his desire, I am ready. An intriguing thought for you to ponder. One could be in right standing with the church, aligned with parents, tradition, and religion, yet still be astray from God's path. Then you question why an emptiness gnaws at you, why progression seems halted. Could it be because you have yet to align your will with God's? Perhaps we should echo the prayer, not my will, but yours be done. We must refuse to let the opinions of others imprison us, knowing that their judgment holds no true weight. Instead, focus on God's approval that whispers, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Not merely as a final epitaph, but as a daily affirmation of a life well lived in accordance with God's divine will. Each new dawn, from Monday to Saturday, we look up to the heavens and inquire, God, what purpose have you intended for my existence? The good book reminds us to recognize God in every aspect of our lives, promising that in doing so, he will illuminate the path that leads us to fulfillment and righteousness. However, the question remains, have you truly embraced the divine presence in all that you do? We often drift into the whirlpool of our own comprehension, choosing to wade in the shallow waters of our limited understanding rather than diving into the unfathomable depths of divine wisdom. This choice, seemingly inconsequential, is the unseen lock that bars certain doors in your life from opening. You may find yourself standing before these doors, knocking persistently, whispering prayers into the silence for them to open, yet they remain stubbornly shut. The disappointment sets in, tainting your faith, 
causing you to question why these doors refuse to budge. But it is essential to remember, not all doors are meant for you. At times, our heart yearns for what lies beyond a specific door, the tantalizing mystery of what could be tickling our curiosity. Yet God, in his all-knowing benevolence, might keep certain doors closed. This isn't to deny you something. It is to shield you from a potential storm that rages beyond the door. He, who sees all and knows all, understands what is truly beneficial for you. He yearns for his children to align their wills with his, to echo his divine intentions. And when you find that alignment, that's when you discover the door that God has personally designed for you. With unshakable faith, you declare, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command this door to open. And so it shall, not by any earthly power, but because it aligns with his divine will. These miracles are the divine footprints in the lives of believers. Through his power, they shall speak in unknown tongues, drive out the shadows that loom in their lives. This is his will, and all those who join their current with his divine river shall experience his power flowing through them, carrying them towards a purpose far greater than any human design. It's a common scene, people signing up for a theology school, deciding to start a church because it seems like a noble pursuit. But without the divine calling, this action, though good in intention, is like a polar bear in a desert. It's out of place and destined to struggle. Embarking on a path simply because it appears to be a good idea is a dangerous gamble. If it's a great idea but misaligned with God's will, or even worse, contradicts his will for your life, it turns into a deviation, a sin. Imagine God had chosen you for missionary work, yet you decided to dedicate your life to the Coast Guard. Although you have committed good deeds, your life's path has strayed from the course God had carefully designed for you. This misalignment is a grave matter, for there will come a day when countless people will stand before the throne of God, only to hear Him say, I never knew you. Because they chose to walk a path not meant for them, even if their deeds were well-intentioned, they remained strangers to God. So I implore you, seek not your will, but His. Align your steps with His divine blueprint, for only then will you truly know Him and fulfill your divine destiny. There exists a profound realization that might dawn upon you one day. Not every circumstance you face is a reflection of God's intent for your existence. If you genuinely comprehended His essence, you would recognize His desires for your life, and if your affection for Him was beyond any doubt, you would forsake your own will and walk down the path He carved out for you. This understanding lends new meaning to the biblical admonition that we often find ourselves petitioning God to favor our circumstances, our relationships, our career trajectories, and an array of other facets of our lives. Yet you might sometimes plead, God grant your blessing upon this, when that particular this has no bearing upon his divine plan. It's essential to realize that not every hardship we face is a manifestation of the devil's nefarious plot or a product of spiritual warfare. Sometimes the choices we make can lead us into difficult situations or places that give bad influences a chance to get to us. We don't always do this on purpose, it can also happen when we're rebelling against God without even realizing it. This is why it's so important to learn about the Bible and understand its teachings. If we just live to impress others or blindly follow what we've been taught without checking if it's right or wrong, we might end up going against what God wants for us. We should always ask ourselves, am I living my life according to God's plan? Each day is a new opportunity to seek His will whether it's in your capacity as a parent, spouse, sibling, spiritual leader, or any other role, it should be your heartfelt desire that God takes pleasure in your actions. Establishing yourself in His will necessitates an intimate relationship with Him, nurtured through quality time spent in His presence. The busyness of life often distracts us, but do we set aside time for Him? Do we immerse ourselves in His word, recognizing that He is inseparable from His word? A deep, personal understanding of His Word is vital. Remember Jesus' words, Not my will, but yours be done. Immersing in God's will 
leads to a profound transformation, liberating you from the chains of religion, tradition, or societal judgment. It changes your interaction with the world as you carry out God's calling with certainty and confidence. Life can be a dark, confusing journey. Imagine an unfamiliar figure attempting to control your actions without any proof of authority. Wouldn't you question their legitimacy? Similarly, when you align with God's plan, a divine force empowers you, providing an invisible badge of divine endorsement. This divine force, much like the legal system, authenticates your actions, allowing you to navigate life with genuine confidence, not arrogance. Consider the story of David, anointed king while still a shepherd boy. Before the giant Goliath, he relied on his spiritual badge, symbolizing his faith. Our biblical examples understood their spiritual identities, recognized the divine plan, and harmonized their ambitions with it. Contrarily, many try to impose their will upon God, pursuing their own dreams without divine consultation. Like building on sand, they build lives without spiritual guidance. When storms arrive, they call out, God bless my creation. Wouldn't it be wiser to include Him at the genesis of our pursuits? We should foster a spiritual understanding in our children, encouraging them to align with God's plan. As the master craftsman, God knows our potential better than we do. By aligning ourselves with His will, we become our most radiant selves. However, many spend their lives seeking validation, trying to meet others' expectations. What if on Judgment Day, God says, Depart from me, I never knew you. Intimate acquaintance with His word and purpose for your life helps avoid such a fate. It guards you against false prophets and misguided opinions. Shouldn't our prayers request alignment with His divine will? Father, guide my steps along your path. Teach me, lead me, shape me, mold me, build me, break me. Whatever it takes, align me with your will. Within His will, God becomes an unfailing ally, a constant force. The scripture states, I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. When in His will, every circumstance, every trial becomes part of His grand design. All things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. This verse is pure spiritual poetry, a divine assurance that no defeat is possible when you're following His roadmap. Thank you for journeying with me today, diving into the profound topic of divine will and our personal alignment with it. Your engagement is deeply appreciated. If you found our conversation insightful and inspiring, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Sharing this video can help us grow our community and foster a space for enriching spiritual discussions. I sincerely appreciate your time, attention, and continuous support. I'm eagerly looking forward to continuing our journey of spiritual discovery together. Thank you once again. Like the video and type Amen if you trust in the Lord. Please support our ministry by clicking the thanks button and please consider joining us as a cherished member. Your generosity uplifts our mission. God bless you.